went to Hardy's today, had a coupon. There is where I cut it out. Uh, two thick burgers for five dollars. Got the receipt here. I'll scan it and show it to you. Five dollars forty-two cents. Uh, eight and a half cent sale tax here in Illinois. And uh, I, di I didn't go through the drive-through. I've had bad experiences in the drive-through. I'm very seldom at fast food places anymore, but I went inside and they took my order and they was like, step aside, we'll bring you your food. And I said, well, it's to go. And you know, yeah, we'll bring you your food. Had to, uh, I swear it took about eight minutes. So I guess, but I tell you what, this is a sign that Hardee's is on a kick about like, we make your food fresh. And it's also because their food's not worth a damn and they don't want to make a bunch ahead of time and have to throw it out. That's the way it is, folks. I mean, they, I know how it is. And uh, I waited and I waited and waited. Finally, they gave me my burgers. I had no intention of eating them right then. I'm sure they would have tasted better, but the fact is that a thick burger is not as thick as you think it should be. And not as, not as thick as I think it should be, and that's all that matters. I mean, anyway, I had to make a video improving upon the hearty thick burger, okay? Okay, so there's the Hardy's bag. There's the Hardy's thick burger. One's already gone. Here's the receipt. I don't know if you can see that. Five dollars forty-two cents. It was a it was a coupon for uh, two thick burgers for five dollars and. The tax here in Illinois is 8.5%. So, you know, anyway, I was not satisfied with the hearty stick burger. They did give me these napkins here, though. I would rather they give me more meat. Where's the beef? Okay, I've extracted this hearty stick burger from its kind of a says Hardy's on there kind of a wax paper thing and I will say compared to the other one on this buy two for five dollars thing it's pretty good amount of tomato and uh, a little slim on whatever kind of mayonnaise they're doing here but uh, the tomato was hanging out the side. That's bad form. That's, you don't do that. And there is cheese on here. And uh, there's some ketchup. And you might think, oh, they don't, they don't look like too much good ketchup. But a lot of the ketchup is over here on the back of this meat patty with the cheese. But the cheese isn't really melted that good. And uh, I, oh, I'm not going to, oh, oh boy, I don't want to lose any of my hearty stuff off here. Because I'm for sure going to be adding a lot more to this hamburger. I just wish I had another hamburger patty myself. Okay, we two all beef patties, special lost sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, all the sauce, me see, mine. We ain't got two all beef patties. We got a big old thing here, they call it buffalo. We got some lettuce here. Uh, I don't see no mustard. So, we got to get going on it with some mustard here. Louisiana hot sauce. You can't go wrong with that. About time for a piece of cheese. And I want some more green stuff on here. I happen to have a salad type stuff here ready. Yep. Oh! I'm losing it. Oh, I'm too dirty to do a video now. But I'm not going to clean up. I'll sacrifice the camera for this video. 
And uh, uh, what are we going to do now? Uh, there wasn't enough ketchup on this thing. We're going to do some more ketchup. Yeah. And garlic powder. Good old garlic powder there. And there was uh, a little paprika. A little paprika there. A little blue cheese dressing. And you know what? I mean, I I don't have any onions. But I got some minced onions. So, I'll do a little bit of that over here. On that part. I'm sure somehow the microwave will make that taste good. And, um... Uh, Speaking of there not being enough meat on here, here's a piece of bologna. Okay. And here's another one. Right here. And, uh, I like peanut butter on everything. So. Ah! Yes. Oh, did I get peanut butter on my... I better not get... This is my only camera, folks. I got it in 2004. But it's going to have to last because I'm, all my other money I'm spending on guitars. And another piece of cheese. And this stuff here, turmeric. I've heard it's an anti-cancer thing. So I'll put some turmeric on there. What the hell? More garlic powder. And there were some battery issues, and of course you missed out on a lot of the good part of the show. I've got the burger sort of reconstructed back here. And like I said, turmeric, this Elise Harris chick on the internet, on YouTube, got me talked into turmeric being a anti-cancer thing. And you can't go wrong with Louisiana hot sauce. It makes meat taste better. That's what they say. I don't have any bacon, but I do have bacon bits right here. Yeah, that, uh, I'm sure the microwave. Mm, I gotta eat some of this stuff right now. I don't look at my fingers. I'm, I'm sure the microwave will find some way to make those bacon bits taste good. And I. Uh, I see a spot for some more blue cheese dressing right here. Anyway, I think we're set to go, and this is pretty much a thick burger at this point. Yeah! 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 And I think, oh my god! Okay, I spoke too soon. Because I need a little bit of horseradish sauce on there. I'm doing that just to make Miss Monica a little bit queasy. She's not so sure about horseradish sauce. But I like it, Miss Monica. I do. And so it's on my thick burger. Oh, yeah! Oh, my God! Yeah! Hardy's eat your heart out. And so, some of you are thinking, Sonny, how are you going to eat this burger? And I shall say, hmm, like, like a Viking pillaging a village and raping all the women. That's how I shall eat this burger. Yes. The victory is mine. To the victor goes the spoils. Nuke, my friend. I am your father. Ooh, yeah. Kitty cats. Oh, kitty cats. Kitty cats, it sounds like my burger's ready. 
somehow the Hallelujah Chorus just doesn't seem majestic enough for this. No way. I'll give you the modified Hardy's Thick Burger.